Hello, this is Keith with How to Build Your Own Home, and I've got a real challenge for everybody. Maybe I can get some help, some feedback on this. I'm doing a job for a client, or actually a friend, a close friend, and it's right here. This is uh, an old 1880, 1883 Pioneer home, and I just re the water line today. You can see all the the dirt here that I dug out and we are in a place called Pine Valley Utah uh, beautiful really beautiful up here it's about 45 minutes north of where I live and there's mountains literally just go around in a bowl and this place catches rain and snow like a bucket under a drip <laughs> uh, beautiful place but I've got a really small home here about 800 square feet and uh, she's limited on her budget. She's retiring or coming close to retirement. <coughs> and uh, this is the front of the house. I just took out some uh, dirt over here. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I wanted to show you what this is made of. This here is old adobe brick. Really, this is what this house is made of. There we go. That's what the home is basically made of. That's the wall for the most part. But the wall has got some other adobe in it. It's about 22 inches thick. And you can see over here, this is how they built back then. They just had raw materials. I'm under the footing here. Right there, that's the footing. That wall is 22 inches thick from here all the way inside that, that window. I'll take you inside in just a second here. But what would you do if you had just basically $100,000 to restore a home, a building that's more than 100 years old? I am a value engineer builder, which means... I like to look at the bones. <laughs> I like to look at the foundation. I like, I wanna make sure it's gonna go for another 150, 200 years. So I go from the bones, roof, and everything in the middle. If they tie together, just great, fine. But here's some couple of problems here. Uh, they built very high ceilings back then. This here is almost a 12 foot ceiling inside. It's very high. They lowered it later because <laughs> They wanted to keep the heat closer to where they were living, so they dropped the ceiling. But there's a two and a half foot crawl space before you get to the attic inside, and I'll show you that inside. But I exposed the original stoop here. This here is the original stoop, <coughs> concrete, still in good shape. Let me walk you through, and you guys kind of tell me what what you do. What would you do? Where would you put the money? What's most important? <coughs> We've got a tree right here. Not a good place because it's right over the sewer. So I gotta take that tree out because it's, I'd love to use the lumber in it. That'd be a nice, that's about a foot and a half diameter tree. This is the house I had duck to get in. I think those pioneers were a little shorter. What we this we've been doing was dusting here, <coughs> uh, digging out to bring in a new water line. This here used to be the kitchen. Kind of, it hasn't been lived in for years. Uh, I actually want to reuse this sink here and put it in some new cabinetry. Get rid of all the cabinetry. Uh, kitchen's not very big. There's the bathroom. I hope I'm not making you guys dizzy. Uh, there's the bathroom very tiny there's a wall over there but here's what's interesting let me show you here this house is solid there's no wood from the ceiling down it's all adobe or it's all brick it's completely solid got a franklin stove inside here we want to keep that 
Uh, she's worried about grandkids touching it and it's hot. So we're trying to figure out a way to kind of like put a wall around it or something. There's a small bedroom in here. Way in there. I actually want to take a little bit of that bedroom out and enlarge the bathroom uh, because it, it, the bathroom needs some large. But you can see the ceiling here. I can touch it with my, my hand, but outside we had another two and a half feet up above that, then the rafters, then the attic. So a lot of space up there. And you guys are probably know what I'm thinking. How can I utilize that upstairs? Well, I'm tight on budget, so I got to think about that. There's another bedroom in here. Had some bug pets in there. Again, it hasn't been lived in for a year. It's just got a lot of storage, a lot of storage. But they're just they're using it for storing stuff. So um, let me take you outside here and show you what I'm thinking. <laughs> no, I took out the the porch, so it's not there anymore. <coughs> you can see, oh, it was dusty in there. You can see how much space is between. I can, I could, I could have touched the ceiling right there, just above that door. That, that's where the ceiling was. So I've got all that dead space up in there, and then the roof looks like it's a nine, twelve, ten, twelve pitch. It's a really steep pitch. I don't, I don't like steep pitch roofs. Uh, the attic chimney looks okay over here. This other one, that needs to come down. That is literally resting right on the rafters. It doesn't go all the way to the ground because they took it out. So all that weight is just being put on the rafters. That chimney has to come out. New windows, of course. But I'm thinking she wants a porch. She wants something, a deck, something to come out and sit and enjoy the evening. And it's beautiful here right now. So... Hey folks. Howdy, how are you? Howdy. No, not tearing it down. <laughs> I'm a builder. I love that old house. I'm gonna try to restore the whole thing. Are you? That's yeah. Yeah, it's an eighteen eighty, eighteen eighty three home. Yeah. So Airbnb is <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to restore it for a woman who's gonna retire in it. Uh, it's it's got the block got it blocked off on the kitchen over there. When I'm done, I'll maybe have an open house up here. <laughs> it's gonna be a long year project, so good to see you folks. All right, really nice people up here. I actually want to retire up here. I actually want to build a cabin up here myself. It's beautiful up here. People are friendly. But a porch would come out here. Uh, it would be a covered porch. But I'd love to have that header lower to the ground but i have to tie that header for the roof for the new porch into the rafters i can't tie it into the brick that's just not not going to work for me so i want to be able to lag it right into the top there so um, we'll see how that goes if you have any ideas please send them my way i really don't think i can afford to um, chain, take off the siding uh, i think if we just really did a nice paint job on here this is the insulated side siding, so it's got some foam on the back side of it. So it's still in good shape. Just needs a paint job. I'm not a fan of the electrical right on this house right here. That's an old one. Got a mast going way over there. So I may have to leave that, just utilize what I can on that. My main focus is the inside. And as you saw, the floorboard was rotted out, especially there in the kitchen. And my thought, you can see the front uh, back entry here. You have to stoop to kind of get in there. Not even a, a six foot door. It's probably about 5'10". You get a duck to get in there. I don't want to change that. I can't. I, I Structurally, I can't go above there unless I put a, a dormer in there. And I've got to put all... The, f the money, first money, inside, make sure we have it habitable. And if we do have some left over, and I can put a little dorm over there and, and raise that, that header and put a whole new header in there, then I can, I can think about that. But I've got to make sure it's habitable. One of the problems with being a, <coughs> a structural 
or value engineer builder is that I love to tear things and go right to the foundation, redo it, redo that, redo sewer, redo the guts. And my nature, I have to calm down on my, my nature on this one and say, hey, slow down, slow down. Like I know that chimney has to come out. As I was mentioning before, it's, it's almost ready to just topple over. So any thoughts you have? I, I, one of the things I was thinking about and, is to not try to save the floorboards, take them all out, take out all the wood, because it's really close to the foundation of the home, um, meaning really close to the dirt. I mean, we're within inches of the dirt, and a lot of that's just rotting away. I want to take it all out, redo the plumbing, run any conduits for electrical that I may need to do, bring in some, some chat or some road base, rebar, pour a whole slab inside there. Sorry, I jerked the camera there. But just literally pour a whole slab of concrete in there. That would assure that it's going to last for a long time and it will give it a real stable floor. Right now the floor is settling and you can walk, you, you know, you feel like you're in a crooked house. It's it, There's no level to it. And that's not good. And so that's what I'm thinking, but I don't know if that's um, or if that's cost prohibitive. It's just labor. A lot of that is labor. When I look at a project like this, I really see labor. Um, material costs aren't as bad, but I know labor is going to be pretty bad. So, yeah, a lot of concrete that needs to be repaired out on the stoops and stuff like that. Anyway, this is the Pine Valley project. It's going to be, I've got to get a lot of this done before the winter with everything else I've got going. And it's like, uh, this is my weekends to try to help somebody out for a couple months. I'm going to re-roof it. You guys know what roof I'm going to put on. Resheet it, all that. But I got to try to conserve everything I can for making it as comfortable and full of joy as I possibly can. A lot of, a lot of work on this one. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you. Uh, Pine Valley Project, north of where I am, I'm going to get back in my tractor, put it in the trailer here, and head on back down. Really don't want to do that. I'd rather stay up here rather than down in the desert where it's really hot right now. So you guys take care. This is Keith Couch. Again, like, subscribe, do whatever you do. Uh, but give me some feedback on this one. Uh, all the feedback I get is going to help me piece together the best way to, to solve this, this puzzle. You guys take care.